I'm back. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please consider supporting me and my channel by subscribing, leaving a like, and a comment down below in this video. Before I start with review, I like to start with an apology and a thank you. An apology because I haven't posted in who knows when. Now, I had a lot of things come up in my personal life, which kind of prevented me from being able to shoot my reviews, and that's why I may actually be in the setup much longer and things like that. So, uh, but overall, I know it. Did... <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. I I tried my best, but I just couldn't make the time. I wasn't even seeing as many movies as I usually do. But now I'm back on it again, and I'm happy to be posting. So I'm so sorry about not posting, but I'm getting right back into it. A lot of videos planned for you guys, and I'm so sorry. Hopefully you're like some makeup videos too, because I have a lot of new ideas I want to try out. Also, thank you to all my subscribers who stayed subscribed to me, despite the fact that I didn't post in forever. And hello to all my new subscribers. I appreciate it, guys. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the review. Top Gun Maverick is the sequel to Top Gun from, I believe, 1989. It stars Tom Cruise and Miles Teller. And this is a sequel, as I said, to the original Top Gun. In this movie, to, uh, Maverick, played by Tom Cruise, is now basically a captain. He's been still flying planes. He's still a kind of a bullheaded Maverick kind of guy, you know, as the name Maverick may ensue in Top Gun Maverick. And... He essentially is told by the Navy, you're going to train these Top Gun pilots. They're already Top Gun pilots. We have to train these pilots for this special mission. And one of them is Goose's son, Rooster. Now, Goose was from the first movie. He was uh, Maverick's friend in there. They were pilots in the Top Gun Academy. And they and Goose died in a plane accident that Maverick was also you know, in the plane with. So in this movie, Rooster holds him responsible. That causes some conflict. And there's a bunch of other characters with their own personal motivations and things. And it just makes it a really entertaining film. So how do I feel about this movie? This movie to me is nearly flawless. This is everything and more than I that I wanted from a Top Gun sequel. I didn't even know I wanted a Top Gun sequel, but after seeing this, I now know I'm so happy God. The action in this movie is realistic. There's not really a lot of CGI. They talk about how they actually went out, got real planes, and Tom Cruise actually trained these people how to fly these planes. So it's kind of like the real life thing too. And you can tell because this looks real. It looks amazing. And I was on the edge of my seat for basically this entire film. Tom Cruise's performance, this is the best I've seen him in a while. He truly is giving his all. He's got a bunch of range, a lot of different things he can do with his character, a lot of in-depth layers. Miles Teller continues to impress me. He's been amazing for, I mean, who knows when. This guy is just killing it. He's, he did The Offer, really good show. If you haven't seen that, check that out. I'm actually thinking of reviewing that. But he's great in this movie. Uh, you can understand where he's coming from. You understand where everyone's coming from in this movie. By the way, side note, Val Kilmer is in this movie. And the scene with him in it, it made me get a little tear in my eye. I, I won't lie. It was very emotional for me to see him able to come back and do the scene that he did get to do. And the movie is a great send-off for him that I really liked. The score, amazing score. The song, Hold My Hand by Lady Gaga. I love it. I've probably listened to it a hundred times in the last two weeks. <laughs> so that should tell you how much I like it. Yeah, this movie I basically was flawless to me. The action is amazing. The third act was one of it's now one of my favorite third acts I've ever seen in my life. It gets more epic as you watch it, and it just This film is just everything I needed. It is the ultimate feel-good popcorn movie. There's this one scene towards the end of the movie where literally something takes place, and I saw this in a pack theater with my sister and and my mom, and it was like ultra you know, screen, and when it happened, the entire crowd just cheered and applauded, and that was amazing, because that's how amazing this thing was, I can't really tell you anything about the movie without spoiling it, I think this film was phenomenal, so it's the best, it's best cinematography I've seen in a long time, the stunts are amazing, all the performances are great, all the characters in here are great, every character has something about them that makes them unique, and it's multiple things, it's not just one thing, they don't have niches, they have actual characters. I love this movie. I just say there's a flaw. I think the romance is a little underdeveloped. That would probably be the only thing. And that, that I couldn't see more of this movie. This movie to me is basically flawless. Um, I can't really think of what else to say about it. It's just that good of a movie. I'm going to give Top Gun Maverick a 9 out of 10.
So thank you so much, guys, as always, for watching, especially for watching this video, as I'm coming back to post reviews. I have a bunch more reviews coming up. I'm trying to shoot as many as I can, because I've seen so much. I have a lot of things I want to talk about. And I'll see y'all next time, because I feel the need, the need for speed.